everyone. Hello, welcome. How are you today? It's nice to see you. Hi, 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 everyone. How's it going? I see Dr. Poxy. Hello. Hi, Brother Bill. Hi, Haseo. Um, hello, General Andrews. Hi, Anime Hero. Hi, Gohan. Hi, Super Nerdy Guy. Um, hello, hello. Hi, Evil Lena Live. Hello. Hi, Nonsense. Wow, wow, wow. First lemming of the night. Dr. Poxy. OG Zays, hello, welcome. How are you, everyone? How's everybody doing? Um, this is going to be a very chill, relaxing broadcast tonight. You got a package? What was your package, Haseo? Oh, my gosh. Wait, let me turn the music back on for this game. It's really nice. It's very chill. So, I... I didn't do it, says Dr. Poxy. Oh my gosh, Bobby's already here. Um, how's it going? Brother Bill, did you change the color? I, I remember your name is always green. Now it's blue. The Setaverse, hello. Yeah, we're going to play Terra Nil. Um, I'm really excited to share this with you all. Hi, Wolfmaster. Hi, everyone. Oh, it's so nice to see you. Okay, first things first, chat. Here's the first thing that I have to tell you about the game we're playing tonight. As you may notice, I added a tree emote. I added a tree emote, okay? The reason why I added that tree emote is because the more we spam the trees, if we could get to 500 trees, they'll p plant a tree in real life somewhere. Um, with this really great company that Devolver Digital is working with. So spam the trees. Spam the trees, chat. Make sure to spam the trees. We got to get to 500 trees tonight. Um, but yeah, we're going to be playing a cool game called Terra Nil, which has an environmental message. And I got this game, this key from Devolver Digital. They're doing a special event um, with a bunch of broadcasters and we're showcasing this game for the launch. The game launched yesterday. So feel free to spam the trees in the chat. Um, Haseo, what package did you get? Axis sent me a free copy of record of the Argress War 15th anniversary edition on the Switch. That is so awesome. Are you excited? Are you going to play it tonight? That sounds really cool. 
I'm very happy for you. I'm very happy for you. You ordered a new stylus? Oh, nice, Gohan. That's cool. But what is your favorite game of all time? Mm, I don't know if I have an answer for that. There are many games that I like. Um, I think that if I really had to choose one game, I usually say Link to the Past, but I don't know. I guess it depends on my mood, too. Sometimes I love Secret of Mana. Sometimes I love Morrowind. I don't know. But they're, they're, I, I love classic games, you know? It's for your digital art. That's awesome. All good answers. Yeah. I've been get. oh, you know what's also one of my favorites too? Zillion. I don't know. It's hard to pick a favorite, but those are all games that I love, you know? But that's a great question. But yeah, we're going to be playing Terra Nil. Zillion, yes. Oh, you know what somebody told me yesterday, General Andrews? Somebody messaged me and said that they made a zillion randomizer. So now I have to check it out. Now I have to check it out. And uh, heck yeah, I can't wait to see how it plays. I'm very happy about this. First of all, the fact that somebody was working on something for zillion made me so happy. <laughs> so that was really cool. That was really cool. Also, I finally unpacked from PAX, chat. I finally unpacked from PAX. Look at this super sweet PAX patch that I've got to add to my jacket. Got to add that to my jacket, chat. Oh, that's cool, Gohan. Unpacked. There you go, Haseo. There you go. There was something I wanted to tell you, Haseo. Oh, you were asking about my drawing earlier. So, okay. Famitsu Magazine, back in the... Whenever Zelda came out was the mid-80s. When before, before Zelda came out, they didn't know that whether Link was a boy or a girl. I think according to the way that the guide was written they presumed that the legend of zelda the main character was zelda the the princess oh thanks dr orochi welcome back ah, i love that i love that love zillion oh my god kimchi i've been watching the anime as well and i love it it's just so i don't know parts of it is silly because of the way, you know, um, the main character is. But, and the way that the other two interact with him and Champ and all that. So, I, I love it too. Thanks so much for coming in and saying hi. Hi, Tizma. Yeah, everyone, feel free to spam the trees in the chat. We got to get up to 500 trees. Um, you like my shirt? Thank you. This is actually a very comfy shirt. It's very comfy. Um, oh, so I have a few things to show you all here before we start the game tonight. Um, here's some games that I picked up while I was at PAX. Has anyone ever played this? The Fairy Tale Sega Genesis game? Has anyone ever played this? I saw it and I never saw it before. So I thought it looks kind of Pool of Radiance-ish. So maybe we should try this out. Maybe we should stream this game. Um... I also got this one because I think it went missing when I moved. Either that or somebody borrowed it and forgot to give it back. You played fa Fairy Tale on Switch. Pool of Radiance ish, right? It really, really is. Check it out with the dragon. You're so right. It does look like Pool of Radiance. I really like that game too, Pool of Radiance. So, yeah, we're going to have to play this. Also, chat, also, Star Fox Assault. I don't own Star Fox Assault. Always wanted to play Star Fox Assault. Now we have it. Now we can stream it. This is going to be great. Um, oh, wait, I forgot telling you. I forgot to tell you the story. So good one. Um, so, yeah, so they thought that Princess Zelda was the main protagonist. So they drew... Link as a girl, not realizing that Link was Link. And um, that has come to be known as Linka in, uh, in fandom. 
it's not an official thing, but in fandom. And people often draw Linka because they love her so much. But she was in a in a issue of Famicom, uh, Famicom magazine. Famitsu, sorry, Famitsu magazine. So that's where that comes from. Um, hi, gaming by Pharaoh. Hello, yeah, Linka. I love Linka. If you Google Linka, you'll find lots of art. Okay, check it out. I also got Altered Beast chat. Classic. Do you have any idea what Caprice en Gare means? Thank you, Kev, for the 10 bits. There does need to be a Linka game. I agree, Seta. I agree. We had to get Altered Beast. Look at this cover. Isn't this too good? The birth of Linkle and Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> And then I also got Shadow of the Beast for the Lynx. Now, why Ash? Why would you get a Lynx game, an Atari Lynx game? You don't have an Atari Lynx. You know what I do have? An analog, an analog pocket. And I'm gonna order the Atari Lynx adapter for it. So there you go, there you go. So we'll be able to play that. I wanted to see what Shadow of the Beast looked like on the Atari Lynx. Altered Beast, fun game. Hi, Neck in the Clouds. Hello, welcome. Yes, thank you for spamming the trees. Galaxy Brain. Exactly. Exactly. So, I have two more things that I want to show you. So, chat. Remember when we were talking the other day about... Oh, I should reach out to 8-Bit Doe because people always ask about the mouse. Maybe they'll work with me. Well, guess what? My dreams came true, chat. I sent them a message and they said, hey, we'll invite you to our partner program. And I cried. I was so happy. So they sent me two free controllers. I'm going to do a video on them. But look at how beautiful they are. Look at this. How gorgeous they are. My favorite, transparent. Green and blue. I mean, green and purple. Crystal purple and jade green. Ain't this the best? Love 8-Bit Do controllers. I have an SN30. That's what these are. The SN30. I got it in purple and I got it in green. I think I might open the green one first. Yeah, these are brand new Wolfmaster. Hi, Chico Cat Purple, right? Yeah. Hi, Swift Remix. Yeah, these are brand new, chat. Brand new, brand new. So I'll have to do some videos on this so you all can see them in their glory. Which one should I open first? Should I open green or purple? Now I get discounts on all the controllers I buy. <laughs> the SN30 fits so comfortably. My tiny hand's going to get me the green one. Yeah, green. Look at look at that. The purple. Should we open the Poifel one? You choose green. Maybe we should just take a little sneaky peek. Maybe. Phil! Thanks for the raid, Phil. Welcome. How are you? Thanks, Wolfmaster, for shouting out Chill Phil. Chill Phil is a wonderful broadcaster who I met on Twitter. And works really hard and loves playing all kinds of cool games. So please make sure to go check out Chill Phil. How was Dredge? We're, I'm, we're going to play Terra Nil today. Have you heard of Terra Nil? It just came out yesterday. Thanks so much for shouting out Chill Phil. And if you've never been here, my name is Ash. I play lots of retro games. Normally I play lots of retro games. But we've been getting into a lot of indie games lately too. I've been trying to grab some time to check it out. So we're going to check it out today. And as you can see, the tree emotes, spam them in the chat. Because if we make it to 500 posted tree emotes, they'll, they'll plant a tree for us somewhere. Somewhere in the world. Also, um, here, let me put this blog post in here so you can learn a little bit more about what's going on with the, the release of Terra Nil. Hi, Pixel Chunk. Nice to meet you. First time viewer with that lovely uh, Link Bit emote. I love it. 
Yeah, it's pretty darn cool. You can also donate and uh, have them plant trees on your behalf. Everything is listed in the blog post. So we're going to check it out. Oh my gosh, chat. Okay, we I opened the purple one. So let's check it out. <gasps> wow. This is gorgeous. Chat. Oh my gosh. I have an 8 SN30 Pro. Look at how beautiful this is. The camera doesn't know justice to how absolutely stunning it looks in real life. Oh my God. It feels great. This is like the most perfect controller I've ever seen in my life. The box picture does not do it justice. I got to take some really nice photos of this with my uh, my Nikon. So you all could see how, just how pretty it looks. The buttons feel great. Oh, there's even there's two shoulder buttons. You have the gray one, Brother Bill. It's really pretty. I cannot wait to see what the green one looks like. But we'll hold off on opening up the green one. We'll hold off on opening up the green one. And we'll um, open that one up tomorrow so we can get into the game. But the gold, the, you know what really gets me is the gold lettering. It's like actually gold. Like it's really, really nice. So I'll take some really close up shots of this with my Nikon and I'll post them on Twitter and Instagram and in the Discord so you all can see it. Is it mic or USB? No, I think it's USB-C. Yeah, it's USB-C. It's USB-C, Tisma. I'm very excited. This is so nice. It's also Bluetooth as well. If you want to use Bluetooth. You can use them wirelessly with your Switch Bluetooth. Yeah, heck yeah. So. Highly recommend. I can't wait to open up the green one. That's going to be really super awesome. So yeah, chat. Okay, let's look at some Terra Nil. I'm really excited. This music, I've been listening to this music like pretty much all night since I've been setting up the stream. Um, So I can't wait to play because... It's been so chill. Um, all right, let's make a new profile. An accelerometer so you can use it on your Switch and still do tilt puzzles. Oh, does it, Pixel Chunk? Hey, that's dope. Oh, speaking of which, it's giving me Sim Earth vibes. Oh, heck yeah. I want this game. Yeah, and you can use it for your computer as well, right? You know what also, chat, I'm so happy about and I feel like I can finally relax. I secured my pre-order for Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition. I can't tell y'all how many times I tried to get a pre-order for that game. Here, finally, finally got it. Walmart came through for me. Walmart came through for me. I'm so happy. And now I don't have to worry. We're gonna, we are gonna do the most careful unboxing <laughs> when that game arrives in my house. We're going to do the most careful unboxing. Wally World doing right by the homie Ash. Yo, for real. Wario, Wario64 on Twitter was out there doing God's work. I'm serious because as soon as he tweeted that it was available, I clicked the link, put in my info. Yes, yes, yes. Information, information, pay, pay, pay. Got the confirmation email. Got the confirmation screen. Everything went through, went fine. And I just exhaled. <laughs> and everything was right in the world. You know? You got to switch. No, no, you know what, Phil? That's the great thing about that game is like, you know, I feel like it doesn't matter when you play it. Like, it's you will always enjoy that game. You know, it's so good. It's so good. 
All right, let's check this. Let's check this out. New profile. Okay, new restoration. Generating map. Getting a switch now is dope because there's a legit stacked library. Exactly, pixel chunk. Preaching, preaching. That's exactly a great way to look at it. And also, now you have the option of getting the OLED. Ooh, good question. How's now? Do you hear it? It was a little quiet for a sec. There's a leaf. I choose I chose the birch tree chat. There was also there were also a few other trees I could have chosen, like the weeping willow, which is another one of my favorite trees. Um Okay. Yeah, it goes from ambiance to loud. I mean, yeah, ambiance to loud pretty quickly. So it's probably gonna be a lot of ambiance right now. King's Quest V, oh my gosh. Have you ever done a playthrough of King's Quest V or any King's Quest game on your channel, General Andrews? Oh my goodness. I really want to do a playthrough of King's Quest one day. I have Heroes Quest and King's Quest on my channel, not yet. Is that something you would consider doing? All right, um, let's see what it says. Introduction. This book serves as a guide to the intricate process of restoring an environment from a wasted to a thriving ecosystem. The process is not always easy, and even with this guide, you will need to experiment to understand exactly what needs to be done. I need to do King's Quest V someday. That sounds like a lot of painfully fun memories. You want to play the King's Quest series? Yeah, I hear that they're so much fun. I would love to play them myself. Um, I've seen a few people play them and it always looks like so hilarious, especially being that you can soft lock if you're not careful, you can soft lock if you're not careful, but yeah, I definitely, oh, come on. I'm just opening up a window on my other computer so I can see what's going on here. All right, cool. Um, in the pages that follow, you will find descriptions of the regions, flora and fauna, you are likely to encounter. The book also contains blueprints of machines and structures that will help you in your task. If you are successful, you will eventually no longer need this book. When that happens, I ask that you pass it along, that it may serve someone else. Good luck with your journey of restoration. I like that it's already talking about instead of like throwing something away, giving it to somebody else so that they can get some use out of it. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like we're always thinking about, oh, I'm done with this. Let me throw it in the garbage. I was how I learned how to spell words yelling down the hall. Dad, how do you spell cupboard? <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that. Reuse, reduce, recycle. Exactly. Hi, Astro Josh. This game is free on mobile if you have a Netflix subscription. Is that, is, is how you say your name, Snow? Hello, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I didn't know that, really? So if you have a Netflix subscription, you could get this game free on mobile? That's pretty cool. Thanks for sharing that. Oh, okay. Select your approach. There are a variety of approaches to wasteland reclamation. What's yours? Gardener, I want to create beautiful, vibrant lab landscapes. Recommended for players seeking a more relaxing experience. Ecologist, I want to restore biodiversity and a balance to the environment with strategy game experience. Okay. <laughs> Environmental engineer, I want to rebuild the ecosystem with sophisticated machines. Not recommended for a first time playthrough. Yeah, it's snow. Okay, welcome in. Nice to meet you. We also have some super cool tree emotes. And if we get to 500 uses in the chat, they'll plant a tree out there for us somewhere. Yeah, so spam away with the trees. Spam away with the trees. All right, I think 
I'm going to go with gardener. While I feel like I could do ecologist, I since this is a very first time playthrough for me, I feel like we should do the relaxing one. And then if we do well with this one, we'll move on to ecologist. And then Netflix has a lot of great mobile games. What? I had no idea, Astro Josh. No idea. That's really cool. Okay. Starting resources, 1,500. I wonder what that means. I had no idea. Also, chat, three-minute warning for ads. Also, maybe after this, we should talk about whether or not I should switch to thirty, like 90 seconds every 30 minutes or do three minutes every hour. Hi, Limey. Hello. Welcome, Tara Ash. I love that. Okay. Base build cost percentage is 50. Recycling when out of resources, enabled. Building unlock objectives, enabled. Hey, thank you so much to the person that followed. Yeah, you know, I feel like that's something we should talk about. I feel like that we don't get a chance to talk about that kind of stuff a lot. Is the mobile game on Switch? Ooh, good question, Seta. I don't know the answer. Um, could somebody, like, does somebody know? If this is also on the Switch. So in Chico Cath, in my dashboard settings, I have a I have analytics that shows me how many times an emote was used. So it's something I can look up myself and then I would have to share with them. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody has access to emote analytics. It's actually a really useful tool. And I just got access to a really useful tool today, chat, for streaming that allows me to see in each category when the highest viewership per hour per day happens for every category. And so, for example, if I look at the retro category, Perfect. it'll show me. Nope, this game is only on iOS, Android, and PC. Oh, thank you, Snow, for letting me know. Hey, General Andrews, thanks for gifting that tier once up to Chico Cat. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Actually, I just realized I should make... Ooh. Hold up. I just got an idea. I just got an idea. General Andrews, you just reminded me of something that I should do. I'm going to do this right now, actually. I'm going to do this right now. Smart thinking. Yeah. Let's see. Hopefully, okay, we'll remove this one for now. Yeah. I think, you, I think you're picking up what I'm putting down here. All right, let's do this. I'm going to add another one of my favorites here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. There we go. I was so stoked for Terra Nil, but my PC is fairly borked. How are you liking it? Hi, kitty bit. Oh, we just started. We just started. In fact, I am... Hold on. Adding this. Oh, no, please don't do that. Yeah, we're just getting rolling. It's like Sin City but Earth. I can't see the tree. Here's what's happening. I'm going to add one to my follower emotes. So that way we can do double time duty right here. It won't let me do it for some weird reason. Hello? Okay, let me reset. I can't see the tree. Yeah, I should have put it. I should have put it on the follower emotes. I don't know why I thought. Oh, ads are about to start, chat. Ads are going to start in three, two, one. We'll be right back. But we're, gonna, we're not going to do anything. Found it. There we go, Chico Cat. There you go. Okay, now let's see if I can get this to work now. What? One, two, three, four, five. Let's 
get rid of this one. Okay. It won't let me do it for some weird reason. It won't let me. Netflix will put elsewhere is the Valiant Heart sequel. What's that? Maybe, maybe you can't upload follower emotes when you're live? Chat? Maybe? Do you think that that's a thing? Yeah, I feel like it's probably a thing. Like you can't upload follower emotes when you're live. Yeah, I did give it a different title. I called it Willow. Yeah. It's so weird. It's like, nah fam, don't even try. Oh, it did, it worked, it worked, it worked. Maybe it just needed time to like catch itself. You know what I'm saying? Probably just needed time to catch itself. There we go. Now followers should have access to the willow and subscribers should have access to the birch tree and the willow. Planting trees takes a little while to grow. That's true. There we go. Let me know if y'all see it, chat. There we go. There we go. All right. Now you can spam both. All right. And the ads are over. So let's continue. Let's continue with the gardener. Okay. To begin, some basics, right? There we go. Hopefully it works. There we go. Sweet. Now everyone can spam. I love it. I love it. I love it. I like the willow and the birch tree. Hi, Almac. Hello. Okay. To begin with, some basics. Pan the camera by moving your mouse cursor to the edge of the screen. Okay, cool, cool. Sweet. Alternatively, you can press and hold the middle mouse button. Try it now. <laughs> Yo, that's pretty sick. All right, trees for the win. Let's go. You can also pan the arrows with WASD. Okay, perfect. Try zooming out with the mouse wheel. Whoa, bleh. Okay. All right, chat. I love how you stop playing when there's ads. Oh, yeah, we have to. I don't want anyone to have any FOMO, you know? I feel like since you can't pause Twitch, it's really important to, you know, make sure that people feel like they're not missing anything. That's really important to me. All right. But thank you for calling that out. I really appreciate that, Astro Josh. Okay. Any wasteland reclamation project should start with a turbine. Select one and place it. All right. Oh, holy. Oh, my God. Gothi. Thank you so much. Gothi. Thank you for the year. Tier one's up for a year. Thank you. I really appreciate you. How you doing? Look, we're playing a game called Terra Nil. And uh, we added a tree emote. And hopefully we get it to be spammed 500 times in the chat. They'll plant a tree for us. So... It's nice to see you. This game is cool. It's about environment stuff. We're doing, we're cleaning up the environment and we're planting trees. And uh, let's, we're, we're, right now we're in the tutorial, so we're learning. All right, cleaning the soil. Now that you have electricity, you can clean the soil. Try to fit four toxin scrubbers as far from the turbine as possible. Okay, so I'm guessing these leaves are the cost of putting down whatever these uh, tools are. 500 trees is easy. I took my first hot, hot shower in three days after my, oh my God, Gothi. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that you were able to do that. I remember when Hurricane Sandy happened in New York and I lost power and there was no hot water. That was pretty terrible. So I hear you on that. I can relate. And I'm glad that now it's better. I'm glad that now it's working. So yeah, welcome in. 
Some rebuilding can be rotated. With R or the mouse wheel, select the irrigator and try this now. Okay. Some buildings can be rotated with R or the mouse wheel. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Clean soil provides the perfect place to grow greenery. Greenery provides resources which are used to create buildings. Construct three irrigators on the soil. Okay, so it's telling me to place it like that. Aha, uh -huh. and like that. Oh, okay, I get you now. I see, I'm picking up what you're putting down there. Okay, cool. Like that. I broke and went to Planet Fitness and got a day pass. I don't blame you. I would have did the same thing. Now, that's a nice vibe, right? I like that. I like that. If ever you are lost, you can always look in the handbook for hints about what to do next. Increasing the landscape, the landscape's greenery, is your primary goal. But remember to keep an eye on your available resources. To begin with, get the greenery target to 30%. Okay. Hi, Rockstar. How are you? Welcome. All right. How we get it to that much? Okay, so everything is tied to this. Hey, thank you so much to the person that followed. Welcome on in. Mm, okay. So should we... Oh, but that can only go to that. Okay. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So maybe we should yeah. do it like over here. Right? So that way we can kind of affect the biggest amount of area possible. Just chilling. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. Oh, this seems like it would be the biggest amount of space affected. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, that did 30%. I probably should have put it the other way. I wonder if you can undo something. Oh, general interest is doing great. That's awesome. Always a good thing to hear. All right. Let me see something here. Let me see something here. How much? Oh, I have 1,825. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. Okay. I think doing it, putting it here would be like the biggest effect. And then if we do, okay, okay. Oh, the red area is where it won't do anything. I see, I see. Oh, look, we just opened up a bit, the bigger part of the map. Oh, nice, okay. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, now we're getting... Reclaim 168 more greenery tiles to unlock whatever this is. Okie dokie. All right, I feel you. All right, so let's put one of these bad boys here. Been waiting for it? Elite Werewolf so far is very chill. I've got to say that the music is very awesome. It's super easy to control. There's multiple ways to control whatever we're doing. Um, I kind of like the middle mouse button way, but so far everything is pretty awesome. We, I'm doing like, um, the gardener difficulty, which is the first difficulty. I figured I might as well pick like the most chill one. That way I could kind of learn the game and then we could do a diff a more tougher one after. I figured we could do a more tougher one after. And people are spamming the chat with trees because... Because... Um, if we get 500 of the tree emotes, they'll plant a tree for us. 
Hi, Bandy. Welcome. How you feeling today? It's good to see you. All right. So I feel like. Okay, what's going to give us the biggest bang on our buck here? Definitely this. Can I? Okay, I can't turn it around. I wonder how many of these this can support. I wonder if four is the maximum. Let me see something. Oh, yeah. Okay, five out of six. Okay, okay, I got you. It's probably can support. Probably can support six. I like the chill vibes of it. Yeah, yeah. You was playing DBZ Kakarot. Hey, yo, that's awesome. Let me see. I'm guessing it's probably best to not have them overlap so much. Know what I mean? All right. Where can we affect the most area here? All right. I'm going to put one right here. And then I'm going to put one like right like right like right here. We're just messing around, chat. We're just messing around. We're just seeing what we what we could do. You know? I wonder what happens if I Let me see if I could get this. Huh. All right. Let's see over here. Let's see over here, chat. Boom. Okay. All right, let me see something here. All right. Also, chat, if you have any suggestions, you can feel free to tell me. Right? Okay. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, wait, maybe that. Uh... I think maybe here probably be good. Right? Planet now loading. <laughs> yeah, for real. All right, wait, maybe I should do one of these. Yeah, let me do one of these. Right? Sweet. And then we'll do one of these over here. I mean, we're only going to be able to do so much. Yo, we need one... Chat. One more. One more. Right here. All right, all right. There. Oh, we got this tree to come back right here. Okay, what's this? Water pump. Okay. Pumps water to fill dry riverbeds. Riverbanks are cleansed by the water. Range is extended by elevation. Oh, is that right? Okay. So where can I put this? Oh, it has to be next to one of these. Now I'm picking up what you're putting down there. All right. All right, let's see what happens if we do this. Oh, and then it puts green in the areas nearby. Smart. Now, I wonder if I could put this. Oh, this is too far, huh? All right, then we see what we're... I see what they want us to do. Okay. See, this has got elevation, right? So they want... Can I turn that around? Oh, it's supposed to go up on the elevated spot. Okay. All right. Okay, I see what they want me to do. Hey, thank you so much to the person that followed. Welcome. 
Nice to meet you. We're playing Tavernell. It's my first time really playing a game like this, to be honest. All right, let's put this. Okay, and I can't turn it around. So let's put that there. I'll put that there. All right, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. See, that's good too, because then I can put, you see what I'm saying? Like, because these are all here now, I can put a bunch of these around. You know, see how we can fill up the area as much as possible while using the least amount of resources, you know? Like this right here feels like it would fit pretty nicely. That feels like it would fit pretty nicely. <laughs> okay, same with, well, how do I? Oh, maybe I can't put... Oh, no. Duh, Ash. The wrong one. Um... Maybe I'm gonna put this, like, right here. Look, we scrubbing away all this toxic stuff. I wonder how we get to... Oh, we probably need to open up more of the map to get to this. I see. I see. I see. All right. Oh, look, we got something new. All right, crystallizes nearby greenery, creating rock. Oh, interesting. So I'm guessing we could use that rock to build more... To build more um, of the turbines, which would be good for, like, right here because then we could have this part of the river open up. You know what I'm saying? Right? And then we could have that. And then we could have like this. Boom. That thinking. Do click. Hello. Welcome. How are you today? Thank you so much for the tier one sub for four months. How are you? I hope you're having a great day today. It's nice to see you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. What the heck? Okay. Work's been busy. Hope you've been well. I've been doing great, thank you. I've been doing great. It's nice to see you. We're playing a game called Terra Nil. Which is kind of like, how would you describe this game, chat? It's kind of like SimCity-ish, but with environmental messages, you know? That's kind of, that's probably how I would describe it. Right? That's probably how I would describe it. But it's super chill. All right, let's see what else we can do. Hmm. Oh, we really need to work on like this whole area right here. So. Oh, word. I'm trying to do like the least amount of overlap. Out of quarters. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you? Welcome. Nice to see you. Hi, Violet. Hello, Kristen. Hi, out of quarters. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. How was your broadcast? What retro game were you playing today? Hi, Arkhaven. Hello. Welcome, if you've never been here before. My name is Ash, and I usually play lots of retro games and Nintendo games, but tonight we got a code from Devolver Digital. And we're playing a game called Terra Nil. And it's really cool because it's got some um, interesting environmental messages. And um, if you spam the tree emotes for every 500 tree, I think it's like if we make 500 tree emotes, they'll plant a tree. 
Um, hi, Alan. Welcome. What? So tell me, what retro game did you play? And if you've never been here, um, here's a list of things that we talk about on my channel all the time. So if you need an icebreaker, there's a bunch of things that, that we talk about if you, if you need something to talk about. You played The Legend of Zelda for the first time and you beat it. And then Kirby Adventure on NES. Let's go. G, 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 G. You know, OG Zelda is not an easy game. Imagine a Mirror Universe version of this and it could be called Terror Nil Yoseta. Actually, good idea. <laughs> People love Kirby. I love Kirby. Look. I love Kirby. OG Zelda was not forgiving. Not at all. Not at all. Um, but yeah, that's freaking awesome. I love I love that Kirby game. I played it myself as well. Um, and it's so good. It's a good challenge. But I was really enjoying it. See that, but I feel like that particular one is really good. At least it wasn't Zelda 2. Zelda 2 is another rough game. That's another rough game. Let me tell you something. The only way, and thank you so much to all the people who followed. Our follower alerts are anonymous. So if you want to alert, feel free to do that. First time here, coming in with Quarters Raid. I'm a sarcastic and mostly chill person. Whoa, Violet Alley Cat, it is so nice to meet you. Thank you for sharing a bit about yourself. I am, um, I really appreciate that. Hi, Jerongo. Hello. How are you, Jerongo? How are you doing? What's new? We're playing Terra Nil. We're playing. You know what, Seta? Every time I say the name of the game, I want to say Terak Nor. <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> I want to say Terak Nor. Kirby 64 is my favorite Kirby game. Yo, that is awesome. That is awesome. I don't think I got a chance to play Kirby 64. I have to see if it's in my library. I don't think I'm, I own it. I hope you had a great time at PAX. Oh my God, Drongo. It was literally one of the most fun trips I ever had, ever. I got to hang out with really awesome people. I got to have a lobster roll. And I got to see all kinds of really awesome indie games. And I got to see very like passionate people who make video games and who are excited to share the things that they love. Yeah, it was so fun. And I got to participate in a, in a panel. And I got to be in a tournament. It was just so great. PAX Hype. I got to hang out with General Andrews. That was really fun. So, yeah, it was, it was really awesome. Thank you so much to the person that followed. Welcome on in. Yeah, Drongo. Oh, my gosh. And check it out. I got some... Super cool games. Look at this. Look at this. Freaking Altered Beast for the Sega Genesis. I got Star Fox Assault. I can't wait to stream this game. That was really cool. Um, I got... I, so I had New Super Mario for the Wii. But I think somebody borrowed it and never got, gave it back. You know what I'm saying? And then I got this cool game called Fairy Tale, which is kind of, I don't know, it looks like a Pool of Radiance style game to me. So I feel like we're going to have to stream this. I'm really excited about that. I should get some sleep. I had a hard time sleeping, so I hope to get some extra sleep before work. Out of quarters, no problem. I totally understand. I know what that feels like, too. Sometimes I just lay in bed and I can't sleep. So get some good rest, and thank you for bringing your wonderful community on over. Thank you so much. I'm Kristen with a Y, huge Zelda and Lord of the Rings fan. Let's go. And you mod for him. Yo, awesome. Have you been watching The Rings of Power? Have you been watching The Rings of Power, Kristen? Terok Nor, a game where we need to, where we rebuild it into DS9. We need, oh my. Seta, that would be such a great game. I'm with it. I'm so with it. Um, watched, loved, adored. I thought it was so good. 
I thought it was so freaking awesome. I cannot wait for the next season. Let me tell you. Cannot wait for the next season. I feel like I should build one like this. Yeah. Ooh, look at that, chat. Look at that. But yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. I really, you know, I really love, um, what's his name? The dwarf and the elf, their relationship. I love them so much. Very ready for the next season of Rings of Power. Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. The last episode got me. I, I teared up a little bit. Also, chat, um, we're, ads are going to play um, in about 2 minutes and 40 seconds. But don't worry. We are going to pause the game so you don't miss out on anything if you're not subscribed. So there's a game where you build your own space station called Space Station Tycoon. Ooh, can you make it look like Terok Nor? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Shall I describe it for you? Or should I just get you a box? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely, like, it just, it got me a little bit to, t especially with what happened with the Harfoot. And at first, I was like, okay, I could do without the Harfoot storylines, right? But it got me a little bit at the end. It got me a little bit at the end. At the end. Gimli and Legolas during the Battle of Helm's Deep. The two towers. Uh, I mean, have you ever seen a more legendary duo? That's all I got to say. I'm just saying. You know? All right, let's see if we could bring some life to this little section right here. Let's see if we could bring some life to this little section right here. I feel like this is probably going to be the way to go. Although I could probably, I could put another one right here. I should probably keep putting these turbines down on all the rocks. Yeah, because check this out, chat. Right? Okay, wait, we already got one there. Hold up, let me do... What's gonna be the most effective? Probably this. 122, huh? 124, 137, 149. All right, let's do this. Bless. Okay, Violet Alley Cat, get some good rest, okay? Take care. I feel you there. I had mixed feelings about how they ran that storyline. It was certainly a bit of a slow burner. That exactly, Drongo. That's exactly how I felt. Hi, off my taco. This is called um, Terra Nil. It just came out yesterday. Devolver Digital gave me a free code. And we also uploaded, uploaded some tree emotes. So spam the tree emotes because if we get 500 tree emotes in the chat, at some point tonight, they'll plant a tree. Ooh, 112. I didn't even realize that the number was telling us how many squares we were rehabilitating. Okay. Now, what's this? Creates a new riverbed, but, poison the land, but poisons the land around it. Oh, mm, that is to be used with caution, chat. That is to be used with caution. City builder, um, I don't know if you can hear me off my taco. Let me know if you can hear me and I will explain it to you. 
Dumpin spammed. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for checking out Terra Nil with me tonight. Um, this game came out yesterday. Terra Nil. <laughs> Oh my gosh, very funny, Seta. Very funny. Is this the one? It's that one. There's two of them. That's the follower one, and then there's a subscriber one. But either one is good. Either one is good, Zach Free. How you doing? Kirby64, the Crystal Shards is on the Nintendo 64 Switch Online. Ooh, I didn't know that. Oh my gosh, Alan. Thank you for the kind words. May I spam just for a second? Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Um. Hey, no, you know what? No, that's cool. You have Twitch Prime. No, you have Twitch Turbo. See, yeah, I usually say Ning is it Ningao? Ningao Ball? How do I say your name? Yeah, I usually say if you don't have Twitch Turbo or you're not subscribed, then you might get ads. But if you do have either one of those things, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Okay, so Taco. This, um... Oh my god, yeah, me too, Gohan. I'm so excited for the movie. I don't see the blue tree in the emotes. Seta, you might have to refresh because I added it during the stream. Oh, yeah, I said go right ahead, Kristen. I said go right ahead. Yeah, I added the I added the Weeping Willow during the stream, so you might have to refresh the window. Um, so just hit uh, Control F5, right? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. So um, off my taco, this game is called Terra, Terra Nil. It just came out yesterday. Uh, Devolver Digital. Devolver Digital. Yay, okay. <laughs> I'm on mobile and I quit relaunched. Okay, perfect. So let me know if you can see it now. So Devolver Digital gave me this free key. And um, it's really cool. Matt. Hello, Matt. Am I on the front page? Oh, awesome. Yeah, my channel is being featured for Women's History Month. So, thanks for letting me know you saw me on the front page. Welcome in. It's nice to meet you. I know it could get annoying. No, I'm glad that you asked first. I do appreciate that a lot. Are you going to head to bed? Okay. Take care of yourself. Get some good rest. And we'll see you next time for sure. Thank you. Thank you for coming in on the raid. Um, so, yeah. So, this game is... A, it's. I guess you could kind of say it's like the you know, like SimCity, but more of an environmental kind of message. So we're rebuilding all of the environment that was ruined. We don't know how or why it was ruined, but um, it is. And so with the tools that we have down here, we're bringing the grass back and things like that. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. That's, I guess, the purpose of the game right now. And it's super chill. There's three different difficulty settings. I picked the easiest one for now so we can kind of learn how the game works. And then we can pick a more difficult one later on. Is that what Wally was supposed to do, Kitty Bit? I didn't even realize that. I didn't even realize that. Did you reach 500 trees yet? Good question. I can I can look. He was the cleanup crew, and then Eden would be coming in to do the big planting part. <gasps> Got it. Got it. Um, hello, Star Lord. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you? Welcome. It's nice to see you. All right, let's see. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. I'm going to tell you right now. The willow is at 521. So we're good with the willow for sure. Yo, Swift, have a good night. Take care. Eva. Eva. 
吧。Terra Nail, Terra Nail is uber relaxing. Yo, Kleeb, hi Kleeb, how you doing? Welcome. I don't see the will. I don't see the um the other one though. I don't see the other one. The birch tree, which is weird. Ah, eh, but regardless, at least one of them got to five hundred. Hi Kleeb, how you doing? Oh, you love my retro shirts? Thank you. Thank you. One of my favorite aspects of all of the things that I own. I do have a lot of video game shirts. Yeah, Star-Lord, thank you so much for choosing our channel to rate. I hope you had a good broadcast. What did you play today? What did you do? Have I been managing my planet well? We're fit. You know what? Honestly, I hope so. Um, I hope so. I'm trying to figure out what would be the best course of action here. All right, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put another one. On. Should I put another one on over? I don't know. I'm trying to figure I'm trying to figure out how to use the least amount of resources in the best way possible. Okay, let's see if we can. Can I? I could kind of put it like right there. All right. It's very chill though. Okay, let's see if I can put this like right here. You gotta be good at like fitting the shapes. There's a couple of people that use the birch tree emote. Yeah, 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 that's true. You have a lot of taco shirts and Star Wars ones. Nice. Um. Cutting costs, upping efficiency. Exactly. Oh, I wonder. See, but here's the thing. If I use this excavator, it will make more riverbed, but it will also ruin the land around it. So we have to be careful. We have to be careful. Okay, this is. Okay, wait. There was one here. Okay, 134, 136, 142, 149. Okay, that's probably I feel like we should do it this way though Star Lord has redeemed Ash says hot dogs hot dog 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 yeah, I saw you said you were playing Streets of Rage 4 and Mario Tennis. Yeah, that's awesome. Streets of Rage is a really awesome game. Oh, hi, Phil. I hope you feel better soon. Thanks for coming in and saying hi. You know what? Maybe we should do this one like that. 82, 83. I think we should do this one like this. Seta, take care. Oh, yeah, the next episode of Picard is coming out soon, isn't it? Enjoy, enjoy. All right, it's saying that we're at 90%. Let me do this. It was kind of messy here. We got like some areas right here that we kind of missed out on. Yeah, feel better soon. This game could be a medita background for your next meditation. Now that's true. 79, 78. Maybe I should do, ooh, 83. 92. Oh, whoa, whoa, we unlock something, chat. Temperate, reclaiming this landscape will involve wind turbines for power, toxin scrubbers to clean soil, and water pumps to restore the rivers. The step to creating a temperate forest are not always straightforward, and you may need to use controlled fires before trees can thrive. Jittery Jack, 
Thank you so much for the raid. How are you today? Welcome. I hope you had a good broadcast. Thanks, Brisby, for shouting out Jittery Jack. How was Hades? Tell us about it. How did your how did your broadcast go? Everyone from my channel, make sure to go and check out Jittery Jack. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. We're playing a game called Terra Nil. It just came out. It's by Devolver Digital. They gave me a free code. And so we're checking it out. And it's got some cool environmental um, applications going on in the game. Yeah, Hades is a gorgeous, gorgeous game. So yeah, it's. I hope you had a lot of fun. And if you've never been here before, my name is Ash. It's nice to meet you all. I play lots of retro games and Nintendo games, but tonight we're, we're checking out this super cool game called Terra Nil. And I hope you check it out too. It's pretty cool. Um, I have it on Steam. I have it on Steam. And I really like it. It's very, very, very relaxing. So yeah, I hope you, I hope you get a chance to check it out. So let's see what we unlocked here. All right. The steps to creating a temperate forest are not always straightforward, and you may need to use the control fires before the trees can thrive. Biomes, animals, climate. Okay. Once the backbone of the ecosystem is thriving, your next step is to increase the diversity of growing plants. Introduce finbos, wetlands, and forest. You also need to begin to pay attention to the local climate. Oh. Oh, these are all the buildings? Oh, sweet. Look at this beautiful illustrations. It's my first real time playing it. I tried it once and I've been meaning to go back and I started getting back into Greek mythology stuff. Since Percy Jackson is appearing, apparently going to going on D plus and I have my copy just sitting there for switch. Nice, nice, nice. So what do you think of it so far? Hades. Oh, look at the animal. Oh my God, chat. Look at how beautiful these drawings are. Which one is your favorite? I like how it also shows the bone structure a little bit. The flamingo. Look at the parrot, the frogs. The detail. It's so good, right? All right. All right. Oh, look at this. Turtles, flowers, sunflowers. That's so cool. Oh, all right. We just unlocked some more stuff. Yeah, this game looks really cool, right? Recl okay. Swarming bees pollinate nearby greenery, creating finbos flowers. Okay. Oh, and what's this? Creates wetlands must be built on an irrigator near water on low ground. Look at the birds, chat. Okay, so let's try this one here. Maybe? Okay, wait, requires... Oh, this thing? Is that right? Oh, I see. All right, let's try it out here. Oh. Taking the land back, exactly. Okay, so then. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, let's go back to one. I wonder, oh man, I can't get both of them. I only put one here. No, hold up. Let me see something here. Will I be able to get all of this?
oh, see, it didn't get this because I didn't use the toxin scrubber. I got you. But, okay, wait, wait, wait. So if I use this right here, right? Can I use this right here? Yeah. Sweet. And then what if I put this? Oh, but we need, hold up. We need this area. Okay. Sorry, I got, I got like really invested for a second here. <laughs> Okay. All right. So can I? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. That one's only using up two. Hi, video game votary. Hello, welcome. How are you? Hi, E Rock. Hello. How are you feeling today? Oh, look at this tree. This tree needs some TLC. Maybe if I put this one here instead. Let's see what happens if I do this. See this tree. Cause I wanna I wanna bring it back for Oh wait, 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 wait. 102? 107. Where's 107? There we go. Yo, Otaku, it's so good. I really like it a lot. I want to try the bees here. We'll see what happens if we do the bees here. Whoa, look at how pretty it is. Okay, that's pretty dope. Okay. <clears throat> I'm doing pretty well. I made chicken fried rice. Ooh, that sounds really tasty. Yeah, the land changes depends on what you prop put put down. So the wind turbine gives everything power, and only six things can be attributed, uh, attr like can be hooked up to a wind turbine. Once you put the wind turbine down, you put down this scrubber. The scrubber gets away all the toxins that are in the ground. Like that. Right? And then it turns the ground into soil like this. Then, once you do that, you want to... You want to um, do something to the land. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you so much to the person that followed. Welcome on in. Nice to meet you. So once you do that, right, you want... And then, um, okay, so like, I'm gonna put this down right here, right? Okay, it's gonna scrub all that. Then, this is the irrigator. This is gonna make the grass grow. And I can rotate my mouse wheel so that way we could figure out different configurations of how we can clear the we can change the most to grass so that plus 43 plus 51 that's telling us how many squares are turning into grass the objective i guess is to clean the environment because we started off with nothing we started off with nothing now we're building up forest and finbos would animals, you know, that's a good question, Sean. Hello, welcome in, by the way. Um, let's take a look at the handbook. 
Yeah, I'm guessing yes. Because it says animals zero out of six. So I'm guessing yes. And check it out. There's clearly illustrations of animals here. So, yeah. But I guess it's figuring out how to utilize your space the best, right? All right. How to use it up so that way we're getting the most bang out of bang in your, you know, the, for the most bang for your buck and not just utilizing, not just wasting the resources. There, yep, later there are animals, but you have to create the quota for each biome, forest, wetland, and flowers for now. Got you. Have you gotten it, Snow, have you gotten a chance to play a lot of this game? All right, there was a 61 here. Where did I see that? There we go. Okay. Let's see what happens if I do this. Oh, I wonder. Mm, this whole area right here. I wish I could do something with. I can't. The calcifier can make more stone. And then making more stone would make it so that way we could put down wind turbines. You know what I'm saying? So like I could put a, ooh, I could actually, like I could actually put a wind turbine like right here. Right? And then we can get this to affect all this. Roller coaster tycoon. Yep, I'm considering buying that. That's how I found your channel. Wanted to see if, besides playing on playing it on mobile. Oh, I got you. Yeah, it's really chill. Definitely very, very relaxing. Also, thank you for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it a lot. It really means a lot. Okay, then we'll put this right here. This is gonna give me the most. Sick. Look, see the birds are coming? I like that. That's pretty dope. I feel like... Nah. Mm -mm. Okay, oh, I see which ones. Oh, because they got water. Oh, I got you, I got you. Okay. Okay, I got you. Put that right there. Hi, Sting. Welcome. How are you today? Nice to see you. I hope you're having a nice day today. I decided to wear some suntan knee highs for a little while. Just take a break from wearing the pantyhose for now. I got you, E-Rock. Sometimes, you know what? You just got to take a break from the regular thing that you do all the time. You know? I get that. I get that. Thanks for sharing that with me today. Oof. Thank you for sharing that with me today. Um, me, 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 me. Um, I think I'm going to put you I'm going to put you Hmm Hmm 
I like all the bugs. I don't know, chat. I'm trying to figure out... Where do I go? I want to know... Where do I go? For the next one. Do, 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 do. I feel like... Okay, wait, I have an idea. I think... I'm gonna... Oh, chat. Ads are gonna play in about... Yeah, there we go. Ads are gonna play in about... Two minutes and 50 seconds. Yeah. See? This is gonna help me get to this areas over here. Yeah. See, I wanna get to this area over here. Beautiful. Thank you so much for the person that followed. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, I wonder if I should use this. Oh, does this need to be? Oh, it needs to be hooked up to a wind turbine. I get it, but it will destroy the land nearby. Now I'm seeing, now I'm picking up what they're putting down. Oof. Let me see what happens. Not good, but sometimes you gotta destroy to make. Not my favorite thing. All right. Uh, not my favorite thing to do. Hey, thank you so much to the person that followed. Welcome. Yeah, there's a certain amount of destruction. Yeah, definitely. That would have to happen. For sure. For sure. I wonder if... Okay, so, like, do I have to put this to make it come back? I wonder. Yeah, you do. I see, I see, I see. And then, like, if I do, okay, so then, can I remove stuff? That's my biggest thing, like, if I put something down, can I remove it? That's what I want to know. You know? Oh! Wait, what did that just do? Dry riverbed, electricity. Oh, you can... You can undo one thing. Oh! Interesting can undo one thing you collect all your machinery and leave the area restored oh hi z man nice to see you welcome oh chat we're gonna pause here we're gonna pause until the ads are done thank you so much everyone for hanging out with me i hope you all have been having fun watching terra nil it's really super relaxing, right? Super chill. I'm so glad I'm getting to show this game off to you all today. You can still feel free to spam the tree emotes if you want to. 
but yeah, thanks for thanks for being here and hanging out and checking out this super awesome relaxing game. Bobby is sleeping in our little bed. I can see her toe beans from here. Have a good night, Star Lord. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Thanks for the raid earlier. Um, yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, Taco, take care. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Thank you so much. But yeah, oh my gosh, chat. I've been drinking this chamomile honey tea. It's so good. It's like chamomile, honey, and something else. I can't remember what the third ingredient is, but it's really delicious. But yeah. Oh, I think I rubbed my eyeshadow off. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the game. Alright, let me see. I wish I didn't do this. I didn't know what would happen. I thought I would be able to build some more water there. Oh well. Can't undo. Oh wow! All right. Can I do this? Got some beehives going. Um, let's see what we just unlocked. Create 100 more ashy nutrient tiles to unlock. Solar amplifier. Focuses sunlight, allowing for the starting of a control burn. Hmm. Huh. McFaceplant, thank you for the prime sub. Oh my gosh, that's really kind of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Okay. I want to see what happens if I put it here. Fimbo's fire will burn sparse vegetation, but will leave behind nutritious ash. Oh. So this is probably... We probably want this, like, here. Oh, wow. Sorry about that, chat. Okay, let's see what happens if we do it here. Uh. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Unlocked though. Okay, the Arboretum uses nutritious ash to create forest. Can only be built on a burnt building husk. Oh, wow. Okay. Research center reduces the cost of some buildings and unlocks the ability to manipulate the region's climate. Fire. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, oh, and then maybe we can kind of. get this to connect I don't want to I don't want to waste all the ash though so we'll have to do that later 153 
207, 170, 184, 44, 77. 213, that sounds like the best place to do it. Bless, okay, that's great. 135, 36, 132. Jittery, have a good night. Take care. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. All right, we're gonna build one of these. Constructing a research center makes many primary reclamation buildings. Now that you've learned the basics of restoration, you need to begin to address the original climate. The climate is defined by these attributes. Right now, we are only interested in humidity, but these will change in the future. Reaching certain thresholds of attributes will have broad effects on the environment. Humidity, ideal conditions. Okay. Creates greenery by watering. Oh, the irrigator. Creates greenery by watering. Right, right. We know that. Yep. Mm hmm okay. Many buildings modify the climate slightly, but some like these cloud cedars change it significantly. Cultivating the right climate is an important step in your reclamation journey. Good luck. All right. So this. Uses surrounding water and ocean to encourage cloud formation and increase ambient humidity. Hi, Sammy. Welcome. How are you? Where can we put this little thing? Oh, does it have to be in the swamp area? Oh, son. Good morning. Good morning. Yo, Sammy, it's super duper chill. It's super duper chill. Wait, I kind of swore I could put it over here somewhere. Maybe I'm bugging? Right here. Okay. Oh, it has to be on a stone. Oh, plus 9%, plus 14%. All right, let's put that one there. Okay. Okay. Osan, how you feeling today? Minus 8, minus 17, minus 39. Why is it giving us minus? Oh, because the areas, they're not. Okay, okay, okay. I got you, I got you, I got you. All right. <clears throat> 87 24 well, We need to do this area right here <laughs> Okay, how do we get that? It's like we got a whole Area that we Okay, let's see if we can do that. Okay. And then we can we do it on this side too? Well, we could take this whole area right here. Hi, Baron. How are you? Welcome. How's it going today? do that way. Oh, because we probably had it that way. Duh, Ash. Okay. Fair enough. Well, that adds to humidity. Whenever we use that, it adds to the humidity. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, look, it's adding flowers. Yeah, it just came out yesterday. It just came out yesterday. So, um, we're checking it out. We need to add some more wetland, it seems. I feel like we could do that over here. Uh, uh, plus 6%. What about over here? Plus 1%. Plus 8%. Oh, shut up. Did a quick drawing tonight. Just emailed it to you. Oh, awesome, Namalki. How are you, by the way? What's up? Thanks for coming by and saying hi. Yeah, we're doing a little late night relaxing stream. We're doing a little late night relaxing stream. It's been really fun so far. <laughs> Can we? This has to be next to water. Huh. Yeah, definitely some SimCity vibes. That's for sure, right? Ooh, should we? Um, hold up. Should we activate this? Let's see what happens. Target invalid. Oh, maybe it needs to have more. <coughs> it probably needs to have more vegetation around. <coughs> sorry, I mean to cough in the mic. I'm so sorry, chat. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened to me. Why do you mean to do that? Okay. Can I? All right. We really need some water to come this way. That's what I really need. I really need some water to go that way. We need more wetlands, you see? Oh, oh, yo! We're getting flowers over here. Well, I wonder if... Hold up, I got a question. Okay, that minuses. Oh, this adds. What happens if I do this? Oh, sick. Pollen season is the worst. Yo. Ain't that the truth. All right. Oh, thanks for the hydrate, Namalki. Mm-hmm. Oh, this gotta go on ash. That's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. All right. Um. I'm gonna put this right here. And then I'm gonna put this. Oops. Um, 
See, I'm trying. I want to get that corner over there. You know, I want to get this little area over here. All right, whatever. We need more wetlands anyway. What am I doing? We need this. Yeah, there we go. Boom. With plant life and climate reestablished, the final step is to construct an airship by recycling your buildings. As you remove your presence, introduce fauna to the new custodian of the ecosystem. Oh, all right. Now how we do that? Oh, sweet. Airship allows for the construction of the airship with materials recycled from the buildings. Oh, we got some rain chat. How y'all feel about this rain? Oh, look, all the other areas are turning green. Very soothing. It's real nice, right? Yo, Ness, this game is super cozy. How you doing? Welcome in, by the way. Oh, here we go, right here. Okay. Recycle all the buildings and stores a portion of their cost. Oh, sick. Okay. So, like, the where was the mashup area? I like totally messed up like over here somewhere. Sweet. But then how do I get rid of that? Like over here is like so much stuff. Great. Okay. Now what's this? Travels along river to collect recycled material from loading docks. Okay. Oh, sweet. Wow. Okay, what does this do? Allows a recycling drone to travel up and down waterfalls. Okay. Loads recycled material from the surrounding buildings and silos into a recycling drone. Oh, sweet. All right. Sixty. Oh, sweet. Okay, okay. We chilling, we chilling. Bye everyone, I decided to get the game and it's pretty late. Thank you, Asher community seems very nice. Oh, Snow, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful evening. I hope you enjoy the game and I hope to see you again soon. Take care of yourself. Thank you for spending the evening with us. And um, yeah, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it a lot. Have a good one, have a good one. I hope you have so much fun. I'm really happy that you uh, decided to share your time with us today. Okay. So... Okay, what now? Oh, we still have to recycle a little bit more, huh?
Can we recycle all of this? Silos must in turn be recycled by a recycling drone at a loading dock. already have one I guess yo John matrix how you doing welcome 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 how you feeling today but can we pause or oh, we can just leave the rain sound I'm doing well. How are you? Also, thank you so much to the person that followed. Our follower alerts are anonymous. So feel free to lurk and enjoy yourself. Yo, this game is so chill. I really love the rain sounds. I really love the rain sounds. Pro Quesadilla. Hey, yo. How you doing? Welcome. It's nice to see you. I hope you're having a great day. Pro Quesadilla. I got to hang out with Pro Quesadilla while I was at PAX. And we had so much fun. Thank you for coming by and saying hello. I really appreciate you. How did Destiny go yesterday? It's so nice to see you. We're playing we're playing uh, Terra Nil today, which is a game where we have to restore the environment that was lost. It's got a lot of environmental messages here. This game slaps. It's really great. It's so relaxing and chill. I like it a lot. So we've made our way to recycling material. I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do um, to make this thing work. Hey, okay, okay. Okay, so we put that. Then this. Oh. Okay, 30, 40, 70. Okay, let's put this here. Wait, no. I'm, I messed that up. I meant to put it here. I put it there by accident. I meant to put it right here. Sweet. And I think this needs to go like right here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, so I think we have to do some more recycling. Let's see, we've got to do some more recycling here. Can we recycle all of this? Sweet. Now, can that stuff... <clears throat> get get over here oh yeah it can bless perfect let's do 80 oh I see how it works now I'm picking up what you're putting down there pal now I'm picking up what you're putting down all right, so we have clearly got to recycle this stuff over here. Right here. I wonder if it will, I wonder if it will. Work for this. Okay, let's see if it'll work. Hello, Sky Coaster. Welcome. This game is really cool. Sweet. Okay, we still have a lot of stuff to recycle over here. I wonder how those work.
Is this like my beaver game? Hmm, good question. I don't really know how the beaver game worked, but this is like environmental stuff. And you gotta rebuild the area by fixing the environment. If that makes sense. Okay, ads are gonna start in three minutes, chat. Ads are gonna start in three minutes. Okay, I can get all of this. Perfect. So. Plus 80. And then. Plus 40. Here you get all the willows you needed. Let me check. Let me check. I think so. Hmm. Let me see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we did. But you could still keep spamming them if you want to. We got 592 willows. We got 592 willows. I don't know if it's gonna update once the stream is over, probably. Um, but yeah. So how do I get to like the areas of meow 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 meow? How do we get to the areas over here? Oh, what's this? Allows user use of a sonar ping to encourage animal species to move into a habitat that is appropriate for them. Oceanic, thank you for the hydrate. Okay, let's try that. We're gonna put this. This is a reintroduction of animals. New animal species will help maintain the ecosystem long after your buildings are packed away. Animal species need to be scanned for open the scanning panel here. The grazers live in the herds on the wide open grassland. Okay. Live in the reeds of the wetland. Large caniform domains of forest which contains a beehive and is on a hill. Chat, ads are going to play soon. And I think I'm going to just take a short little bee right back so I can get some water. <sighs> so I can get some water. Um, yeah, as soon as the ads, um, play, I will go be right back. Actually, I'll go be right back right now, because I really gotta use the bathroom. But thanks, thanks for hanging out with me. We will be right back.
All right, welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for being patient and uh, sitting through the ads. I really appreciate that. Okay, use this button to scan for the selected species. Each scan will give you information about the suitable suitability of the area scan. You need to find a suitable habitat for at least three animals. Okay. Uh. Okay, probably this one. Scan for this. Undiscovered. I couldn't figure out why I was hearing thunder. Hi, Odd. Odd Rots. Hello. Yeah, it was from the game. How are you? Welcome. Oh, can I move my cam? Sure. I can move my cam. No problemo. I can totally do that. No problem. Um, let's pause this real quick. Tab out of the game. And unlock this. Hello, here's me. I'm over here now. How's that? Is that better? Or should I go like down here? Is that cool? Maybe I'll go like over here. Boom. You think that's good? All right, cool, no problem. We work together. Oh my God, Berry Picker. Thank you so much for the the three consecutive stream watch, watch streak. Thank you. That's really awesome of you. Welcome back. How you feeling today? All right, here we go. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm good. How about you? I'm doing excellent. Thank you. We're having so much fun with this super neato game. It's called Terra Nil, and we're basically restoring the environment. It's super, super cool. Wait, did we find any of the animals? Oh, requirement partially met. Use a sonar scan to uncover. Okay. Oh, so we can scan. Oh, we can. We don't necessarily have to scan what's next to us. We can scan over here as well. That's pretty cool. Hi, Max. You just finished the base part of this game. It's short but nice. Awesome. Hi, Azor. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you? What did you do today? How was your broadcast? We're playing a game called Terra Nil. Devolver Digital gave us this code, this free code. So we're checking it out and we're restoring the environment. How are you? Thank you, Brisby, for shouting out Azor, who is also one of my moderators and is really super cool and awesome. Thanks for, thank you so much for uh, coming to hang out with us tonight. I really appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much. How you feeling? I wonder if we need to have like honey around here or something. You know, finally conquered my fear of spiders. <gasps> Ungrounded. Oh, oh my, oh my. And how do you feel about that? How do you feel about it? I wonder. Yo, General Andrews, thanks so much for hanging out. Um, okay, did I recycle everything? Did I recycle everything? I did not. 
Oh, there's still a ton over here that I need to recycle. Hi, Cloaked. Ash said tree. Did I miss a meme? Oh, no. So basically, if we put 500 of those trees in the chat, um, they'll plant the tree. So we were having them spam. We were having those trees spammed. Oh my gosh, cloaked. This is called Terra Nil. It just came out yesterday. And um, yeah, yeah, spam the trees. It just came out yesterday. And we got a code from Devolver Digital. And basically what we're trying to do is restore Based, when we started, this whole land was completely barren, nothing but dirt. And we've restored a lot of the ecosystem back. And it's got like this really cool environmental message. So it's basically kind of like The Sims a little bit. And we're just restoring back all of the, you know, all of the, the life back to where... Oh, thanks, General Andrews. Thank you so much. And thank you so much to the person that followed. Welcome. Okay. So I got rid of those. I wonder if I can build another one of these. No, you only can build one, it seems. So... Seems like we can only build one of these as well. Oh, I wonder if... Yeah. There we go. And the isometric and graphic style tickles my retro part of my brain. Oh my gosh, DJ Redacted. Thank you so much for that amazing compliment. I really appreciate that a lot. Seems like the devs are really branching out. <laughs> no, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that a lot. That's really a nice thing for you to say. Thank you so much. Oh, I chat. I just realized that because of the rain, this riverbed just that riverbed just um, filled up, which is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Okay, and we can only build one of these. So let's see what we... Use a sonar scan. Okay. Okay. Okay, should we scan this too? Rest in large lakes when it's not flying. Okay. Maybe here. Ideal wetland. Okay. Well, what else are we supposed to scan for? Maybe I have to keep keep clicking it, chat. On a river near a forest. Oh, like this? Okay. Range of river. Range of at least 10 forests. Right. So what else do we do? Oh, we found a beaver. Look at them. Look, there they are. We found them. The little beavers, we found them. You had to do that map several times. Oh, leave it to beaver. They're so cute. I love them. I got you. Okay. 
So you had to scan it a bunch of times. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, let's see what it says. Prowls in a forest near to a source of prey. Uh-huh. So would that be like here? Okay. Let's see what else we got. Okay. No, we didn't find them there. Oh, it's saying how many times we scanned. Oh. I see. I see. The map generation, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's see here. Okay, let's see what we can scan here. <gasps> There's some deer. Okay, we found some deer. Now I get it, now I get it. Okay, the small amphibian lives, lives in the reeds near of wetland near Finbos Field. Okay. <gasps> we found the frog. Okay, we found three out of three. What is this game? Hi, Corpus. This is called Terra Nil. It just came out on the 28th, and Devolver Digital gave us this code, and it's so good and relaxing. We're basically restoring the environment. That's what we're doing. We're basically restoring the environment. Beehives and is on a hill. Okay. Okay, so that one had beehives and trees. Okay. Okay, wait, maybe right here? Oops. Oh, it didn't have trees. Oh. I get what you're saying. This one needs a lake. Forest near a source of prey. Got you. So what are we supposed to do now? Am I supposed to recycle the recycling? <laughs> Cozy vibes, yeah. Those Nintendo 64 controllers to the Switch got restocked today, all sold out today, and now up on eBay for gouge prices. I am not surprised, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Oh, look, there's some more deer right here. Uh-huh. So how do I pick up... like this? Would I have had to have created a river that reached that? Because I can't pick up all of these. Oh, okay, okay. How the heck am I supposed to reach these ones? You know what I'm saying, chat? Or should I... Can I recycle this thing? Right? Nothing. Okay, interesting. 
There's recycling stuff in this. But I don't know how to get to it. You know? I don't know how to get to it. Am I supposed to... Oh, do I need a wind turbine? Do I have to go back and like build stuff? Hold on, I'm curious here now. I wonder if I could go back and build stuff. You know what I mean? Hold up. I want to try something. What about the help codex? Salmon run, water lily blossom. Oh, if we have more than... Oh, if we keep making the humidity go up, we'll get water lilies and salmon run. The handbook. See, we're missing three out of six animals, five out of seven climate. It just tells us what everything does. Okay. I wonder if, hold up, let me check something. Let me put this right here, see what happens. It was, a, it was interested angle to work with. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So I wonder if, Yeah, see how it's clicking on... See how it's, like, pointing at those? Okay, but how do I get to them, though? Not, know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Because I can only build one of these. And I can't recycle the recycling. It needs to be by a river. Know what I'm saying? So I feel like I have to build. I feel like ah, I don't want to do this. But I feel like I have to. Chat. This. I'm not. Oh, but it won't even let me. But for the sake of vaccine, I'm not going to say unless you want it. Okay, got you. You could tell me. You could tell me. Maybe I su I'm supposed to use the calcifier? Excavator. Excavator won't let me put down. It won't let me. All right. Hmm. In the right track with the drill. It needs the wind turbine to power it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the wind turbine. But now we have to figure out the right way to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? All right. I can't just put it in any direction. All right, like right here, for example.
Is that gonna... Oh no, the frogs are angry! I'm not happy with myself. I'm sorry, frogs. <laughs> okay. Okay, but, 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 but. Why doesn't... Is this too far? Oh, because of this. Uh -huh. I see because the frick. Now I get it. Now I get it because of this. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 I get it. So then how the hell do I get rid of that? Okay, maybe if I put it right here. Not happy about it, but it is what it is, right? Where's my frogs now? Okay. Okay. Now let me see something. Right. Okay. But then... Here we go. Is it gonna work now? Is this gonna be enough points? Not even close. Not even close, chat. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right. I'm, I'm getting it now. I got it. I got it. Boo. All right. So how in tarnation can I do this and do the least amount of damage? Not gonna be happy about this. I know. I know. What if we do this way? And then we do... That way. I mean, we need the river! Okay, and then... Okay. I wasn't happy about all that destruction. Okay. This thing. Rain will fix it. We good. True. Let's 
Let's see if this works. It didn't fill up the river. Oh, because we need that to fill up the river. Obviously. All right. All right, sick. Okay. Right. Hey, thank you so much to the person that followed. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome. Oh, ads are starting soon, chat. Ads are starting soon. Now, how the refrigerator are we? Hey, thank you so much to the person that followed. Paladin. Hi, Zangi. Hello, welcome. Paladin, thank you so much for the watch streak. How you doing? We've been playing Terra Nil. This game is awesome. This game is awesome. How you feeling, Zangi? What's new? How you doing? Ads are gonna start in four, three, two, one. Hungry? I hear you. I hear you. We're going to pause the game until the ads are done. We're going to pause the game. I'm here behind the the little ad break thing. <laughs> I was thinking about playing this game with no cam. I was thinking about playing this game with no cam. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Hold up. I disappeared for a second. Um, but yeah, this game is super awesome so far. And I hope you all have been enjoying it. I really like it a lot. Actually, you know what? Maybe we will switch to no cam and see how that goes. You're so cl I know we're so close. You're so right. We are. You are absolutely right. I see the deer over there. Oh, zero, huh? It's incredibly chill. Thanks, Namalki. Yeah, I'm really liking it, too. <sighs> all right. I feel like... All right, here's what's going to happen, chat. Back to, our show. Back to our show. All right. Should we do... Do you all, Should we do no cam? You all let me know. Um... Okay, I have an idea. We need this. And we need... Can I get it to go there? Will it work? I'm not happy about it, but it's what we had to do, you know? Sometimes you have to do what you got to do, chat. It's just a way of it. Hmm. All right. I 
feel like I have to do one over here. There's no other way. Zangief, thanks for the watch streak, Zangief. Thanks for the watch streak. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We should be able to get to those other ones now. from this one let's go Why can't we get that one? Ooh. Right. Well, can we? Do this. And do this. And can I put this? Oh, that's not. I can't put one here because this doesn't attach to that. Hi, Celestial Knight. Hello, welcome. All right. We're so close. There's this and this. All right. See, if I understood that we needed to have access to all the rivers beforehand, I wouldn't have laid things out the way that I did. You know what I'm saying? I wish I kind of knew that from jump, chat. I wish I kind of knew that from jump. And now you know, and knowing is half the battle. Ain't that the truth? Okay, wait. but lessons have been learned I know that's right so will this be close enough for it to pick it up is what I would want to know Is that close enough? It will now. Bro, you've got to be kidding me. 97%. Chat, 97%. Oh my friggin fridge. Hi, Photon. Gotta get the last two. I don't want 
want to destroy these trees. All right. I mean, if I have to, I guess I have to, right? Right, chat? All right. What's the le what is the least way I could do this? like if I put one here and then I could put this no that's not gonna work undo that okay if I put this here gotta be the way I'm not a fan of destroying this forest but it's the only thing I could do it's the only thing I could do not a fan Let's see if that's good enough chat I doubt it like you said Max we probably gonna have to get this last little bit up here in the forest yep two percent two percent we have to get that piece we have to get it that's so corny that is so corny. Let me tell you right now how corny that is. <laughs> Hi, Desmaku. How you feeling? Welcome. Nice to see you. Oh, God. All right, this might work. Extremely tired, I feel you. I feel you on that. Um, hello? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Where's my recycler? Recycle. And then we want one. Oh my God, it didn't attach. Bro. I'm. This game is so chill. It's really nice. Look, one little square here. It didn't freaking attach. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate it. That was where my excavator was. Oh, was that it? Was that my fault? Dang. I, me I messed it up. I see what you're saying. I wonder if I could do it like this. Hold up. I wonder if I could reach it from here. Let's 
Let's see. Did it. Hi, Sim. Welcome. How you doing? Sim, have you tried this game yet? Terra Nil? I feel like this is something you would love. I feel like you would like this game. We're restoring the environment. We started off with like a barren wasteland and now we've built a forest. We built some swamp. We built all kinds of ecosystems here. And now we have fixed the land back to its natural state. There we go. We did it. Max, you helped me out big time. It's really cool. We got this free key from Devolver Digital. They were so nice to give us this key. And uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Sweet. Wasteland reclaimed. We did it. We did it, chat. Big brain. Big brain. Can I appreciate? I want to appreciate. I want to appreciate. Oh, look at the little beavers. Oh my God, I love them. And the birds. I really like this a lot. And look at the little deer and all the trees and the honey and the bugs. It's very cute. Very cute. Very, very cute. Look, the beavers built a little dam. That's what that looks like to me. It looks like a little dam. Wish listed for now, yeah, Zays. It's really nice. Look at their antlers. Oh. How's Bo Bobby is being a sweet little baby girl. She's sleeping in her bed. I'm doing very well, thank you. I had some tea earlier, and I think after this I'm gonna make a sandwich. But we're chilling. We're big chilling. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you and your family are doing well. Thanks for coming by and saying hello. All right. Let's continue. This is so good. Look at the leaf. I love the little leaf. Oh, sweet. Oh, so we have to do the whole planet? Wow. Well, we only did 50% of this area. Oh, we got this. I'm supposing that each terrain is probably more difficult. Max, have a good day. Take care. You're in LA. Went to Disneyland. Oh my gosh. I went hiking. Oh my gosh. I saw your udon noodle soup on Twitter and it looked so delicious, Sim. I hope you enjoyed. I think it was udon and like some sushi it looked like. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm so glad to hear that you went hiking. Oh my gosh, that must have been so relaxing and chill. Disneyland, oh man. That's awesome. That's awesome. I hope you had a blast. I hope you had tons of fun. Hi, B. Brendan. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, you have the little tree too. Oh my gosh, I love the tree emotes. Yeah, they're so good. Brendan, how you feeling? This game is super, super awesome. Have you gotten a chance to play it yourself? Desolate Island, River Valley. We didn't unlock all of the animals, chat. We'll have to unlock all the animals. Oh, there's more biomes here. We got a beach and a coral reef, mangroves. Oh, let's check this out. You watch Zach play it? Nice. It was so good. We went hiking up to the Griffith Observatory and saw a show at the planetarium. Oh my gosh, I love planetariums. That's so awesome. I'm happy that you're having a nice time out there. 
That sounds really exciting. Planetariums are so great. There's a planetarium in um, the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. And I saw the show there once and it was really, really awesome. So I can only imagine what the show in California is like. I bet you with all the mountains and stuff, it must be so beautiful to be there and like see all the stars at night, you know? That sounds really awesome. Okay, we're rebuilding a tropical zone here. Rebuilding an island ecosystem is a unique challenge. Restoring life to the oceans is your number one priority. Using toxins, scrub using toxin scrubbers to clean the seawater. Few river networks means you'll need to use monorail infrastructure here. Oh, interesting. So now we have to use like trains and stuff to, well, monorails to like get, probably to get like the bad stuff out. You'll need, you'll need to begin by cleaning the surrounding oceans and reintroducing plant life. Toxin scrubbers are integral as they cleanse both land and sea. Both greenery and clean ocean contribute towards your gold. Climate manipulation is possible from the outset here. Okay, cool. Okay. We don't know. Oh, these are the animals we found so far. The frog, the beaver, and the deer. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, and all of these are undiscovered. I didn't realize I had to click chat. I didn't realize I had to click on the pages to make the page flip. Monorail. I did not freaking realize. Oh, wow. Look at the illustrations. They're so pretty. Okay. Oh, wowzers. Okay. All right. So let's get some wind turbines up. Oh, what's this? Cloud cedar. Okay. Oh, so we have to, oh, we have to unlock stuff on each level. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Let's put one here in the center. Because I feel like that would make the most sense. Put one there. Put one there. Go in there. Okay. Song from The Simpsons. Oh, gotcha. Okay. 3449. We want the highest number here. 44. I think this one. I don't have an affiliate code, Brother Bill. That's a great question. I don't have one. 18, 32, 43. Oh, look, we've already cleaned up some of the water here. Okay. So I'm guessing if we picked like a harder difficulty, we would have less money to work with and stuff. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Oh, no. I appreciate that you ask. Thank you for asking. All right. Let's see if we can get this mamma jamma working here. Six. I saw 60. 66. All right. Let's do that. Okay, let's see if we can get this one. 93. Did I see 96? Yes, I did. Okay. Crystallizes the salt in ocean water to create rock. Oh, is that right? Oh, I get why. So I could have more wind turbines. Right? 
Yeah. Yup. Perfect. And then we can have the scrubber do its work. Fifty-one. Fifty-three. Okay. We need some water pumps here, chat. Look at this. Boom. Sick. I love it. We're gonna need to, we're gonna need one over here somewhere. Cause we can barely even reach. And we're gonna need one like over here somewhere. Yeah. So we can have a wind turbine over here. I'm guessing that the map is gonna open up a bit more You know what I mean, jelly beans? Okay. So, we have to make sure we're capitalizing on the most land that we can. No, we want to clean up first. Okay. Plus two, minus 21, plus 23. Oh, there's a wind turbine there, but it can't. Okay, I really should have put it like right here. Yeah, so we can have like this. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. See, we need, we need another wind turbine over here. Look at how much area we're covering if we do like right here. Okay. Oh, what time is it, chat? Oh, it's three hours we've been playing this game. All right, I'm gonna pause here. I'm gonna call it here, chat, because, what time is it? It's 2.30 in the morning. I usually take today off, but, um, what's our time? Oh no. Can I save? Oh, darn. All right, that's okay. That's okay. We'll just have to call it. Thanks, Oceanic. I hope you all enjoyed this game. Um, Terra Nil. It's out already right now. And it's super dope. Um, you can get it on Steam. That's how I got it. And let me know if you enjoy it, if you decide to get it. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you all had fun. Um, thanks for streaming this. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. I'm so glad. It's on GOG, too. That's true. That's true. So definitely check it out. Definitely check it out. It just came out, and it's really awesome. So it's super relaxing. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Yee! So let's find a nice person to raid, chat. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Um, here's my socials. We'll be live tomorrow with some more Star Trek online, which will be super fun. We'll be live. Thanks, Corpus. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Um, thank you so much to everyone who came to hang out with me. Oh, I'm looking up people who are live right now, chat. So we could find a nice person to raid. I'm looking for a nice person to raid. Um, let's see. Is anybody playing this game? 
I wonder. I wonder. But yeah, thank you for hanging out with me today. I usually don't stream on Wednesdays, but I was like, you know what? Why the heck not? Why the heck no? Yeah, yeah. And now we're going to rest. <laughs> now we're going to rest. So, yeah. But yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Here's the raid message. If you have a couple of seconds and you want to just go and say hi to another streamer on Twitch.tv, another person broadcasting on Twitch.tv, we can go and say hi to somebody. And uh, yeah, thanks for spending your evening with me. <gasps> oh my God. I see someone playing Morrowind chat do you want to go hang out with somebody playing morrowind right now let's go hang out with somebody playing morrowind i hope they're not ending soon their name is nikums i met them the other day um and i love their emotes um john matrix told me about nikums and I went to check out their stream, and it was awesome and super cozy. So let's go over there and hang out. I'll see you all later. Don't forget to tell your friends Ash said hi. Thanks, Klebe. Thank you so much. Let's go cheer on some awesome Morrowind because you all know how much I love that game. All right, I'll see you all later. Don't forget to tell your friends Ash said hi. Bye-bye, everybody.